what advice would you give to a guy who maybe wanted to suggest this lifestyle to his significant other? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> um, approach it from her perspective, not yours, and be very, very honest. Don't try to skirt around and fake her into something. It's something you want to reveal and expose your thoughts, not coerce. Exactly. Be, be uh, vulnerable. Create that vulnerability. Yeah. Your spouse will always recognize vulnerability. Vulnerability creates trust. Utilize that to your and y'all's advantage. Mm. And then, Holly, what about you? If there was probably a little, I feel like it's a little bit easier for the women. Actually, it maybe is. not. I, I For the woman like to it, convince the man? I feel uh, definitely. That yes. she wants to sleep with other men, though? Def- I could be wrong about that. Other women, one thing. Other men, I don't know. Yeah. No, you're right. Every you, you dude wants to it. see his <laughs> wife with another woman. Yeah. Yes. Not every woman wants to see her husband with another woman. Mm-hmm. So you start there and you have to pair out. I, I'd say just talk about your fantasies, you know, communicate. And if there's. Um, if the guy can be, if the husband can be vulnerable with his wife and, and if they can really open up to each other, it, I think it, um, kind of just transitions into kind of a fluid, um, relationship, you know, and, Mm -hmm. and what y'all are wanting to experience together and what you're comfortable with. I mean, I, I'm all, or I'm opposed to putting pressure on your significant other, you know, mm-hmm. there's no pressure. It shouldn't be like that. It should be a very fluid process, you know, mm-hmm. about just talking and, and fantasizing with your, with your spouse. So, mm-hmm. um, I don't know if that's, if that's a good answer or not. Yeah. No, <laughs> don't, don't hide things from your significant yeah, other. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, be communicate and be yeah. honest. I mean, I think I, what start I, small. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go don't go Magnum. Yeah. Don't go Magnum. <laughs> yeah. Start off. Start off with a teeny little pizza, yeah. pizza guy. Go from there. <laughs> start with the pizza van. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what I hear both of you guys kind of circling back to again and again is this sense of trust. Yeah. Right. And another comment that I see come up a lot is, how can you not be afraid that Holly's going to leave you for another man? Does that ever occur to you? Do you I'm ever have five that concern? foot seven. It occurs to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> of course it but does. But you wear a magnum condom, yeah, so can we add those inches to the yeah. height? I feel like it counts. It, it makes being a tripod a little easier. <laughs> I, I I think because I understand her mind so much, because she lets me and fills me in, uh, I really don't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I I'll have the you know, oh, no, I don't want that to go any further scenario. But I never, ever, it never crosses my mind, oh, God, she's going to run off with so-and-so. I'm not Mm -hmm. emotionally capable to have, like, a a fling or a boyfriend or another husband or, you know, like, I have have everything I want here. There is that. We've been through so much together. Yeah. And I think that's what created us. Yeah. And for either of us to have to repeat that is just... Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't it doesn't even make sense in our minds. Mm-hmm. No, I can't imagine starting all over and you know laying out all my baggage with someone. She else. has gone home with some of some high profile celebrities that women would kill their husbands for. Mm-hmm. And it's never crossed my mind that she's not coming home. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he, like, he fills all the all the needs and, yeah. and all that stuff. So. I will say, I mean, for, so personally, from my perspective as a woman, you know, finding a man that you feel safe with and that you feel connected to and and all of those things, I think, is just so valuable. Like, so valuable. you don't throw that away, especially if, you know, you get to experience sex with other people. And so it fulfills yeah. whatever need that you might have to have a bit of variety coming back to like right. that solid I, home I, that, that makes sense brings up a good point too is i think a lot of our um sexual things that we do they're very physical based they're mm-hmm. not emotional based they're not um you know relationship based it's it's our physical fun that we you know generate with each other and we're like let's go do this you mm-hmm. know um so it does it never really goes toward um uh, a route of, you know, going to have a relationship with someone else, you know? Yeah. It's 
that wouldn't even be fun to me, yeah. you know? Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.